All right, in this video I'm going to prove that faith is based upon facts mathematically. Faith, facts, and both words exist for the glory of the Trinity, the triune God, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Um, so look at how obvious this is. Both words begin with F, which is double three, then A, which is plus one, then I and C both divide by three, and the A knits together with the T in both things to make a multiple of three, and then the H and the S left over knit together. Okay, so I'm going to switch to blue here. So the A and the T make 21. Okay, and then the H and the S at the end make 27, the perfect cube of three. I think I said that right, I might have said 33. H and S is 27. So do you see how faith is based upon facts. The more facts you've received, the more faith you have. <laughs> it's not complicated. We gotta feed the children all these facts, and then they will have great faith. And then, of course, they will go to heaven and do a lot more cool things that require faith in this life. Um, that's so cool. So look at the word faith and the word facts. It just, they are structured identically for the number three. And I was led by the Holy Ghost to preach on these two words for the glory of the triune God. First of all, both of these words exist for the glory of the Trinity. Like, there's only one God, and he is three persons. We proved that in the previous four hours of video. God is three persons is love plus love plus love plus love. God is equals love. 54, 54, 54, triple 54. Okay, God is three persons. God the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the owner of all words. So, when you look at the word faith, and you look at the word facts, well, they will start with F, which is six, in three strokes. One, two, three. <laughs> it's like you can't even say the word faith, or the word facts, without glorifying the Trinity. Now, the word fact divides by three all by itself, but look at, look at the parallelism between faith and facts. F, F, A, A, and then the third letter in and both divides by three. In faith it's nine, three times three, and C it equals three. And then the T, which equals the same in both words, knits together with the A in slot number two. A plus T equals 21, in the most obvious way to make 21. A is one, T is 20. <laughs> Give me an equation that makes 21. The simplest answer is 20 plus one. <laughs> Go to the Wikipedia page for the number 21. 21 is the number following 20. Okay, 20 plus 1 is 21. It's like that uh, famous line on the um, Marx Brothers movie Go West, Rocho thinking in the train, set, the, uh, train station sketch before they go west. He says, let me see now, that's uh, 20 plus 1, uh, 21. Um, so, <laughs> A plus T is 21 in both words. Okay, multiple of 21, 21, these two letters will divide by 3, and then the S on facts mixed together with H of faith to make 27, which is the perfect cube of 3. 3 times 3 times 3. Okay. <clears throat> and then the word found divides by 3, as in founded upon, starting with F. Faith founded upon, upon divides by 3. So faith founded upon facts. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So what does this combination come to for the number 3? Faith plus facts. It's totally perfectly structured for the number 3. Um, what is the grand total? 27 plus 27. Well, I'll find love in faith plus facts. 27 in the word fat, that's half of love. HS is 27 again. And then you've got another uh, 39 points left over. So that's 54 plus 39 equals 93. 93, faith plus facts. But faith is based on facts. That's the message. But both words clearly were foreordained and designed by the triune God in his story, world history, to scream out the number three, who he is, three persons in one. Okay, both the word faith and the word facts. So, I've just, there, only, there is only one true faith. <laughs> that is that Jesus Christ is God, and God is three persons. God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You can't even say the word faith without confessing the number three. And you can't say the word facts without confessing the number three in total perfect equivalence with the word faith. Okay? All of this stuff in all of my videos is pure facts. Faith comes from facts. Okay?
<laughs> like, like, for example, if you don't know anything, how will you believe in it? For example, if you've seen visions of heaven, well, those are a lot of facts that have come into your eyeballs and your ears. <laughs> now you believe it. You've seen, you know, an angel. You've seen the glory of God and the words upon our lips. That's facts. Turns into faith. Okay. Um, amazing. So faith is based upon facts. And both words exist for the glory of the Trinity. Um, so we need to give all of these facts. So you give all these facts to your kids. Give all these facts to yourself. It jacks your faith through the roof. Okay. Faith in what? That God is three persons and that he is love. And that he is 100% totally sovereign. And that it's all for his glory. It's all his story. God ordained every single person okay, in this story to be born where they were born and have the interest they have and to do what they do. And that is true of you. So, but but that's, that's a huge gem there. That faith is based upon facts. Both perfectly glorify the number three in their parallel structure uh, to the glory of the triune God. Two big words, faith and facts. Perfectly related. Faith is based upon facts. We need to teach all these facts in all my videos to all people in all schools worldwide. And yes, this numbers thing works in all languages. Okay? So that everyone knows the same true thing. That God is three persons. And when you confess the Godship of Jesus Christ, you become a child of God and you are blessed supernaturally, divinely, by God Almighty. Okay? It is the salvation for the world. The confession of all people that Jesus Christ is God. How do you get forgiven of all of your sins and become a child of God and the recipient of his favor and blessings all the days of your life? You must confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. And then you are what is called saved. You are forgiven of all of your sins. You are now a child of God and a recipient of all of his favor and blessings for the rest of your life and most of all you are going to heaven when you breathe your last in God's perfect timing. Okay. But do you see how faith is based upon facts? The Bible says it this way, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Facts, words, the truth. Okay. And of course the word word and fact all by themselves will divide by three. Fact equals 30. Word is a double of that. Like, good night. So fact is 30 exactly. And word equals 60. A double of 30. Both screaming out 3. Okay? It's, it's so obvious. So there you go. Faith is based upon facts. Share these facts with every single person you can because this is for the world's faith. Which is obviously a term for the world's blessing. Because faith pleases God. How did you become a Christian? You believed. Faith. Well, if that's how you got saved, doesn't that tell you what pleases God? <laughs> Faith pleases God. Okay. Unbelief. Ooh. No, 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 no. Faith. Faith is based upon facts. Watch all these movies. Baptize yourself in the truth. I love that. I, I just can't stop looking at these letters. Like, don't you just love the perfection? Like, it, it is what it is, folks. It, like... It is what it is. Like, you don't even need to have faith to look at these facts before our eyes and see the triune values of these letters just jumping off the page at you in total perfect alignment. Like, I, I just, stare, just staring at these two words lined up vertically makes me happy. Like, you got, you know, they both start with F, which divides by three. The third letter in, in both, is the other letter that divides by three. Three times three up here, three down here. And then they both are flanked with an A to T, which is 21, assembled set of threes. Okay. And then these two endings, the S and the H, knit together to make 27, the perfect cube of three. Faith is based upon facts. Like, literally, stack them on top of each other. Faith is based upon facts. If you want more faith... You've got to absorb more facts. Read more stories. 
of true stories are simply facts. Read more true testimonies and stories of people who have experienced God. Okay? Learn more of the facts stated in the Bible to grow your faith. Watch all of my videos and get all the facts. <laughs> and that will build your faith. Okay? The Bible talks about Tell all of us come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. Like, facts, 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 faith, faith, faith. Okay? So, dig up some deep truth today. <laughs> Learn the basics of the Hebrew language. For example, here's a real good fact that blows your mind. Every single word in the Hebrew language of the Holy Scripture comes from a three-glyph root. One, two, three. I can't believe no one ever taught me that in any church I ever went to. I found that out for myself, stumbling upon a website, deciding I was going to get into Hebrew. you got to be kidding me. If someone had told me that from the beginning, I would have studied that language like crazy, because that's perfection. Every word in the Hebrew language stems from a three-glyph root. One, two, three. Talk about the obvious glory of God. Why isn't that being taught in our public schools in Canada? Because they don't want you to learn about Jesus. They don't. Because if they, because if you did, it would expose them for all the lies that they're propagating and all the money that they're getting from their paychecks, which are based upon a lot of vain teachings and a lot of dumb exercises. Hello? Okay. I'm, I'm here to present goods to you, okay? We know there's problems, but let's just rejoice and thank God that it's going to get better. God wouldn't be revealing all this to us if he didn't have a plan to heal a lot of what is currently in education systems worldwide, okay? So faith is based upon facts, and both words are perfectly stacked for the number three. Letter by letter, number by number, it's maximum for the glory of the Trinity. Um, like, and if you wanted to like do like cool cross braiding between these two words to really, you know, just knit this A with this T, put a cross between this T with this A, tie the, the middle two letters together, bind the first two letters together, bind the last two letters, you literally have this beautiful, you know, symmetrical painting between these words. I'll just, I'll just make a little, you know, do it again. Faith, facts. Oops, I was going to... Like, put a cross braid between this A and this T, a cross braid between this A and this T, a, a vertical stroke between the I and the C, a vertical stroke between the first two letters, a vertical stroke between there. You get the idea. So faith is, faith is based upon facts. <laughs> Watch all my videos. Get all the facts. You'll understand that the whole story belongs to God. He takes the glory for everything. He's sovereign and he's love. That's a huge, awesome gem. Faith is based upon facts.